Good afternoon, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share a dream I had this morning. Today is June the 27th, 2017. It was a dream of the rapture and God's judgment. And I want to start by saying I give all the honor and glory to our Heavenly Father for these blessed gifts that He shares with all of us. Now, the way the dream went is I was at a mall. There were a lot of people around, and there was a window behind me. And I happened to glance outside the window, and I could see it was this, it was like a cloud, but it was a gold color. And from what I could see, it was, it just seemed more like a light, but from, from what I could see out of the window, it was just, I could see a portion of it. And I had just looked out and glanced to see if that's something odd, as we are all paying attention and awaiting our Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ's return. You know, we're always looking out, keeping an eye out, paying attention. And I happened to glance out to look because it looked a little odd and different than it normally does. But it looked like a light, and it looked as the, the cloud was scrolling back but it was kind of going to the left. And I looked and I said, oh, that's nothing. And so I went back to doing what I was doing, and I was in a mall of some sort, and there was a lot of people around. And then all of a sudden I look again, but this time the cloud and the light got longer. And I said, no, that looks a little, there's something going on. So I go outside, and as I look, all I see is this cloud got really big, and it was, it was like a gold color. And all of a sudden, we all knew that Jesus Christ was returning. And, and, all, and there was so much joy, and it was almost as, as we've all been waiting. It was almost I felt like, oh, finally, it's here. Like, I knew I'd been waiting, and he was showing up, and I knew, like, wow, it's finally, he's finally here. And everybody had their hands up and everybody was in complete joy and everybody had their hands straight up and you could see like angels were coming and pulling each one up and I had my hands up and then finally I felt my hands get grabbed and I get pulled up and it was we were pulled up it just seemed like like it was very gentle and as we're getting pulled up you know like everybody's getting pulled up and we're going up and then all of a sudden I was like halfway and I looked down and it was, I felt like there was, like I needed to help somebody of some sort, but all of a sudden the angel let go of my hand and I slowly descended. Now at this point I didn't in any way think I was getting left behind. I knew there was something I had to do, but I believe what the Lord was showing me is he was showing me what was to come after because all of a sudden I descended real gently. I wasn't in fear like, oh, I got left behind. I was, it was almost like I was viewing afterwards what went on because all of a sudden I was back in the mall and I saw people around. And, and everybody had this like sad look on their face like they were left behind. And I was walking and just looking at people and I saw this one man and he had two little, two little kids, a boy and a girl with him. They looked to be like the age of seven or eight or so. And I looked, and I was, I was kind of stunned, because most kids, because there were, these were the only two kids here. And, and I said, why are they still here? And the man looked at me, and he said, because these are my children. And in my mind, I was thinking, no, they're God's children. But that was just a thought in my mind. But for some reason, I said, were they baptized? And he said, no. The reason I think I asked it, I was more stunned. Well, why not? And, and now that, that probably doesn't have anything to do with anything. I'm just sharing everything I saw, so I just want to put it out there. Uh, and then the, cha the scene changed. And I was in kind of like a big, it seemed like a cabin with a bunch of people. And people were scared. Everybody was together, and it seemed like everybody was hiding out. Like everybody was gathered at this place 
Now, the interesting thing is I wasn't afraid. I was just in the midst of them. And the next thing I knew comes this flying ice cube, like probably, I don't know, it was pretty big, you know, probably the size of half of a car. And it was like hurled from the sky. And it would hit the ground and it would shake the earth. And when this ice cube would hit, and, and it was interesting because the ice cube was uh, kind of like a emerald color, possibly. And as it would come down, it would shake the earth, and then I could feel the pieces that broke off would like hit the house and hit other things. And people were terrified. And then it would be calm for just a little bit. And then you'd hear people say, here it comes again. And then all of a sudden, a big round rock, almost like a meteor looking rock. But it wasn't on fire, it was just a rock looking. And to me it was interesting because it looked like a big meatball. But it was, I think it was a rock. And it would hit and the same thing would happen. It would shake and rattle the earth and pieces would hit the house. And it's funny because I remember the door, it was almost like the door would get pushed out and you could see a little bit outside and the door would go back out. And then everybody would be terrified. And I, and I remember saying, you guys were all warned and yet you didn't listen. And then all of a sudden you'd hear, it'd be calm for quite a bit of while, you know, a little while again. And then you'd hear all of a sudden, here it comes again. And when everybody would hear that, everybody would brace and hide under tables or under whatever they could. But I was standing in the midst of the room. I wasn't afraid at all. And again, a bigger, now this, now this ice cube had gotten larger. Everything, I probably saw like three or four things hurled from the sky. And I knew it was God's judgment because it was almost as if God was throwing them down. And from the first to the second, to the third, and I think there might have been three or four, I can't remember exactly, but everything got bigger. Like, I know that after the rock, there was a, the, the next ice cube was even bigger, it was like maybe the size of a bus, and it shook harder. It was almost like there were degrees of the judgment that kept coming. And then all of a sudden, from that point, the scene changed, and I was back, in heaven and we were at the wedding party and we were with Jesus and we were celebrating and as we were celebrating there were people that were very sad there because they knew they had family and friends back on earth and they felt like they couldn't celebrate because they knew what was going down on earth like we knew that Chaos was breaking out and God's judgment was being poured out. But yet, we were at the, the wedding party and we were enjoying and celebrating. But like I said, there were a few people that you could see were like, felt really sorrowful. And that's when I woke up. Thought I'd share it with you guys. I hope it was a blessing to you. And I'll talk to you later.